Hi Matt, how are you going? I'm astonishingly well. Oh, excellent. Well, this is the astonishing game. The astonishing game. Yeah, it's this is a bit confusing. The, the, the astonishing, it, it's not meant to be an adjective. The astonishing is the name of the concept. This is a game about the astonishing. That's it's, it's not a great which, name. Which is an album by the band Dream Theater. Yeah, um, you didn't even say that. Oh well, you know, I was getting to it. Thank you for thank you for correcting me. There you go. Um, this was a big high concept album by the prog rock band Dream Theater, which we both love. And um, yeah, they went a bit high concept with this one and made an album with a story, kind of like a a stage show rock opera kind of thing. And they made this game for it, and it looks kind of dumb and I wanted to play it basically. Yeah, we both got emails today saying hey yeah, play this game. We are both like, alright, cool yep. whatever. So I gave Dream Theater even more of my money and then we started, we bought this game. Let's begin and see what the hell's going on here. It's some kind of board game. And we have turned off the uh, the music. It does come with wonderful Dream Theater Oh yeah, basically it, it, Dream Theater should be playing in the background right now. That is insanely copyrighted though, so I can't do that. Let's play the tutorial. Lovely majesty logos. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this... Oh. There should be like... There should be like really heavy progressive rock <laughs> playing. <laughs> See, just imagine that over the entire thing and we're done. But I should add really crap music into this. It's you. Yes. No, I, I, I couldn't do that to Paul Dream Theater. Welcome to the Astonishing Game, a tactical board game where you sway the will oh. of the people and set them free. <laughs> Come on, we're five minutes in. <laughs> Or suppress them. This playing field on which the game takes place. This is a playing field. Maybe I should do the reading from now on. Um, That's... No. no. These are the camps. Your opponent will aim at converting these, so keep them safe. The camps. These guys? I don't know. Okay. Your hero panel is located in the lower left corner. We have highlighted it for you. Oh, that's I've it. highlighted it myself. The left bar shows you how much motivation you have. You start with three and lose one every time one of your camp is converted. If your motivation reaches zero, the struggle is over and the game is lost. But you'll turn the odds in your favor, reduce your opponent's motivation to zero, and win. Oh, fantastic. I think I'm meant to be Gabriel, and that's meant to be Nefarious. They actually call the character Nefarious. I mean. Yeah, I know. They actually called the bad guy into... They actually call him Nefarious. Now, there's a fucking awesome song where, like, the, the hook of the chorus is Bow down to Nefarious! With a in the background. It's so fucking cool. Um, but the problem but, is but, his name is But Nefarious. his name is Nefarious. I actually quite like it. Um, a lot of people criticise the album for this reason. It sounds like he's a Disney villain whenever he's he singing. However, I think that's just fucking cool. I think that aesthetic actually really works in this context. Whatever. I think if you're naming a your kid Nefarious, right, he's not going to grow up to be a dentist or anything. the power that you use throughout the game. In the in upper right corner, you have your appearance, uh, sorry, opponent's hero panel. Use it to keep track of his motivation and influence. Remember, you win the game by reducing the opponent's motivation to zero. Okay, sounds good to me. In the bottom center, <laughs> you find your playing pieces represented by buttons and influence costs. Just click twice. twice on the painter widget to inspect here. Her. <laughs> okay, you're doing the reading. I forgot. <laughs> so click twice. <laughs> Clockwise starting from the top. The graphics in the center left show the playing pieces, influence cost, action direction, action value, loyalty, and move direction in patterns and numbers. Oh, fuck. This is confusing. <laughs> if I could say it in words, there would be no reason to paint, said Edward Hopper. Uh, the same values are listed in the center right. The playing pieces special ability, if any, is listed at the bottom of the panel. I'm just reading this, I'm not understanding what I'm saying. No! Click the painter widget again to dismiss her. You are The dismissed. struggle starts now. <laughs> you can rally playing pieces to any vacant tile in front of one of your operational camps. Oh, so... Essentially chess. First click the painter widget, and then the highlighted tile twice. This is chess. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, and then on the highlighted tile. Okay. Twice. There you go. Um, when a playing piece is rallied, it immediately gets spent. When spent, it cannot perform any movements or actions until the next turn. Okay, so it's like magic. Thankfully, the playing piece is stop saying magic. <laughs> Thankfully, the playing piece is shielded for now and therefore safe. Now end your turn and <laughs> <laughs> sorry, and punch Achi in the face. <laughs> Can I summon James LeBrie? This dark nomad is identical to your own guitarist. While playing pieces differ in name and appearance between the Raven Skill Militia and the GNEA. They all have their exact counterpart on the opposite side, making for a fully balanced game. 
So, you're saying you balance the game by making both factions exactly the same. Yes. She is now open to influence. Drugs, rock and roll. <laughs> Sax. <laughs> uh, it's time to learn how to move. Playing oh, thank pieces. God. I can, I can now go outside. <laughs> Playing pieces can move variable distances depending on both their movement cost modifier and your influence repository. Jesus, this is confusing. It's... Okay. What's, the, what's the movement cost? I it's a turn-based combat game developed by a prog rock band. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? I don't know. The tall highlight of blue where you can move. The... One's in orange where it can demotivate opponent piercings. Okay, so it can move anywhere along there and if there's an opponent piece in there, it can attack them. Notice you spent one point to move the painter. Is that going to replenish the next turn? Moving two tiles would cost you three influence. Why additional cost to subsequent tile move? The first tile costs one, second one costs two, and so on and so on. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, and I've got ten to spend every single turn. Okay, I understand. The default influence cost modifier to move playing pieces. Some pieces, like the dancer and the drummer, that must be dancer. Have different, have different modifiers. modifiers. The influence repository is replenished every round, so let's use some more to rally a keyboardist. Yes, Rude S. Does he look like Rude S? Oh, Will he and he costs six influence to... Ah, uh, I hope he looks like a wizard. Please look like a wizard. He looks like Rude S. Yes! It's Jordan Rude... We have summoned Jordan Rude S. I win. You can go home now. <laughs> okay, cool. We're the real winners here. No, oh, he makes sound like the Nomax do. This would be so much better with music in the background. It would, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh well, this is what the you have to do. The opponent has moved and attacked your painter, causing six points of demotivation to your playing piece. The opponent has also relied a politician that has the ability to increase the motivation of friendly playing pieces. The politician is identical to your own vocalist. Before countering, let's talk about boosting your influence repository. Move a painter to the influence boost tile. Okay. Uh, good, the influence boost tile toggle toggle between your own neutral and your opponent's control. The next round, the tile will toggle your way, granting two extra points of influence. Ah, oh, okay, there's field control as well. Now let's see if we can demotivate that dark Nomac. Okay, that's that guy there. You, Food goes in here. Um, Twice. <laughs> the hell has people with floats. Yes! Oh god. <laughs> The Great. problem. The problem is there's no dream theater playing yeah, in the background. It's just this. It would that would sync up with the oh, music. Yeah. Oh no. You have no. demotivated a burning playing piece. Notice how the keyboard is demotivated using sound from a distance. Playing pieces with range to full but can never be used to convert camps. Oh, okay. Well, you must melee these camps. I get it. I'm I'm, I'm getting this. I'm yeah. getting this. It's very strange. I like it how. We, we had to make the factions exactly the same. The interesting increasing the influence repository as well as move the Dark Nomad to toggle the boost tile. A judge has also spawned, which is just like your drummer. As a consequence, you have 12 influence points to use. Okay, cool. So these things here get you more influence. Yes, indeed, indeed. Um, it's about field control. If you're bearing down on them, you have more influence. Basically, the more you're winning, the more harder you win, if that makes any sense. Okay. Oh, God, that's a word salad. <laughs> uh, also known as the opponent's dark... Oh, I'll just do it. <laughs> We're at that point. Select an ability, strings of light, and tick, click twice on the dark nomad. Oh, to... this is an ability. Oh, so uh, we have... I can summon all these guys, and... So for five, I can do strings of light. Oh, and that, that goes in the... Does it? Bye. Bye. Bye bye. How <laughs> the keyboard is like the little dance. Yeah, it's cool. The Dark Nomak has left the board before toggling a boost tile, and there are currently no threats to your playing pieces. Let's set up a plan to rid ourselves of that judge too, so it does not become a problem over the next turns. Place a dancer on the indicated tile. The dancer is swift and has a special surprise ability. Oh. Oh. Okay. All your influence has been used, and it's time again to end your turn. Oh no. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, the opponent's moved the judge to up to toggle the boost tiles. Followed the politician to take advantage of the motivation increase in the next turn. Notice that politicians and vocalists can even boost a playing piece of morale in the initial total, making a formidable piece if left alone too long. Ah. Uh, okay, so he. What it's saying is he, he boosts everyone around him. So yeah. if he had. A few guys around him. The longer he's in the game, the more guys he has around him, and that's the more mm. potent he makes him. Makes sense. 
It's time to take the judge seriously and seek to reduce its motivation before it becomes a problem. Also, let's get in position <laughs> to strike a blow at one of your opponent's camps in subsequent rounds. Start uh, by moving the dancer to behind the judge. Oh wow! And demotivate him by using the. So how much influence? Ability. How much of this is it, is it going to use? It's a eight. There eight. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, and then attack him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, the jar the sudden jarring music. The judge is not gone but has been demotivated <laughs> to the extent of not posing a real threat for now. <laughs> now use the rest of your influence to move the painter forth. Okay, okay, sounds good. Next turn you'll be able to start converting a camp, given that the weakened judge cannot move backward, leaving your dancer safe. Ah, so okay. So we end turn. In turn. Sounds good. Very good. Oh, they're going to try and convert that one. Did you see how the judge's motivation grew? It was the politician using an action to increase it by five points, in addition to the passive ability to increase it a further one. God. Also noticed how a boost tile has been toggled to your opponent's control, and the judge moving on to a new one to toggle it next turn. Now, however, you can strike at a camp and even convert it using two of your playing pieces. Sounds fantastic. Start with your dancer. Do we Wait. have... Oh, okay, cool. Click the camp ahead twice to demotivate it. <laughs> oh no, he's dancing! That's how I dance. Now follow up with your painter and demotivate the camp further in order to flee. Uh, yeah, click it twice. Suck it! Suck it! Oh wow. Oh, one of these equals. Oh wow, one piece of health. Okay. You only need to do three then. Did you see how the playing piece celebrated after converting a camp? The opponent overall motivation has dropped from three to two! This drop is permanent. <laughs> okay, you still have influence. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, getting hit with that annoying judge. God, I'm so mean. Suck it! <laughs> oh. Look at this hammer. I am the hammer. That was perfection. You spent all your influence and gum would be perfection. <laughs> oh. oh no, they're pissed at me. Well, the opponent has used a special ability you don't have. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have this. It was called the Anger of Darius and motivated your painter by six motivation. Uh, enough to remove it from, pay, uh, from play. It cost all the opponent's influence, however. And it's again up to you to push the struggle ahead. You oh, saw wow. how bothersome that judge could have been. Luckily, you have a counterpart like it. The drummer and the judge are the only pieces able to convert a camp with a single action. Rally a drummer to the uh, indicated time. They move quite slowly class. though, so the idea is yeah. you it's like a pawn, you get to the other side, you start fucking shit up. Yeah. Let's get a drummer boy. He gone! Doesn't look like Mangini. Oh yeah, we're gonna get another thing! Oh, I'm so good at this game. The dancer can reach a number of camps or do mono version politician. Uh make your choice. Oh oh I can choose! Hooray! Um What'd you do? I don't know. I'm thinking take a camp. Mm, nah. Wait, wait, wait for two of them to be there. <laughs> I gotta say, if I met a politician and I danced at him, he'd be demotivated. Yeah. It would de he'd be demotivated. He'd go, "What have I done with my life? I'm governing this person." <laughs> oh, they'd eat an onion. The camera controls are now enabled. Oh, thank God for that. I was so annoyed by that. Now I can look over here. No, uh, I'm over here. And now I've never played this game again. <laughs> No, not another one of those things. Dude, relax. It's evil. Oh wow, now I just get to control this. Evil. evil. Okay, um... Should I fuck this guy up? Sure, why not? Uh... <laughs> oh, I should have stood on this, bugger. That was dumb. You are dumb. <laughs> he's buggered off. Uh, he's scarpered. Um, can I... Oh, you can't move? He has to move at an angle, it's like chess. So move the drummer forward. Uh oh. Yeah. Move him forward. And that's six left. Oh. Let's summon a second keyboardist, or a guitarist, or a vocalist. Oh, let's get a vocalist. A vocalist yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How you going? Does not look I'm pretty good. Room. How are you? Only, so far, only the keyboardist looks like. Uh, Looks like Rudess. 
let's, let's keep moving them up. Alright, next. End turn. Alright. We haven't got a guitarist either. What do the guitarists do? That. Wow, he's got long range. Oh, he's got a big long range attack. These are the noise machines that make noise that is like, this is the music you meant to like, you guys. But this guy's like, I don't like this music. I'm going to start singing. And he's like, no, revolution. These are the music. Ma it's, it's a fantasy based around music. And it's really, really dumb. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to say really, really cool. No, but really um, dumb. Yeah. I, I, Luckily, I don't, Dream Theater are a good enough band to, that they can pull it off. I mean, it, it was it was a cool idea. Yeah. Oh fuck! What? <laughs> oh wow, he's got tons of health now. Yeah, take him out. Oh, and he's on this space now. Beautiful. <laughs> Sexy dancing. I do not understand these moves you are making. What is this thing called love? Well, this is actually, it looks complicated, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's essentially chess. I think the um, the challenge in this is understanding what all these do and knowing which one to use at a certain point, because... No more hip thrusting for you. Oh, fuck off. Dude, they're going to do that every turn. No. Why don't you understand the concept of this yet? Because it's stupid. Why don't I get that? Because it takes, you, it was theirs first. Oh, I I, de I converted it away from them. Now I have to be you on there for to be to neutral. Yeah. Yes. 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 So anyway, um, I'm gonna go up there. Thank you. Do you have to? Oh, do you have to motivate? Yeah, they have to actually do a thing. That's what you click on again because yeah, there's all this stuff. Well, how, how do I motivate him? Um. Yeah. Oh, I have to. Is this green one here? Oh, he's going to motivate Dagonly as well. You got this, drummer boy! Alright. <sighs> okay, next. Oh, what? I can't fuck him up. No, because it was his first shot, they said before. If it's his first shot, they can't... Uh... Let's go move the keyboardist next to the drummer, maybe? Where's the keyboardist? Right there. Oh, all right. Or even go down there. Yeah, do that. Okay. Oh, I can fuck him up from there as do well. It. Yep, do that. Attack him. Oh, and I'm there as well. Beautiful. <laughs> so epic. <laughs> it, so epic. It'd be more epic if there was music in the background. Oh, yeah. I wonder if, like, just the whole album's playing while we're doing this. That'd be cool. Mm, cool is a word. Oh, he killed Jordan Rudess. No, no one can actually kill Jordan Rudess. Nah, no, it's not actually possible. Oh, he'll destroy it in one hit. Yes. Let's do that while well, I got the chance. Yep. Now before I do that, do that, just to really pump him up, and then go destroy that. Yeah, bitch! <laughs> and can you move the drummer across one now? No, he's already oh. moved. They can only move once, by the looks of it. Okay, what haven't I summoned yet? Guitarist. What's a guitarist do? I don't know, get one. Want to find out? Yep. Alright. Mr. Butushi! Mr. Batuti! Doesn't look like a gorilla. Oh, he does a little bit. Oh, uh, that's it. He has the stance of Patuti. Can I? Oh, I can reset the camera. Beautiful. I love how he's 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 slow motion rocking out on an acoustic guitar. Oh, and they're fucked. I don't think they can kill him. Cause he, I've boosted, I've boosted him so many times. Don't call him a dumber. That's rude. You're a rude boy. You know that. Man, genie, the genie. He actually is a genie. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And whenever they do those cartoons. Yeah, he's the genie. <laughs> I should explain, um, when Dream Theater do live shows, um, they sometimes uh, underpin some of their music with visuals of a cartoon playing in the background. And the drummer's name is Man Genie, and he is literally represented like a genie. That's easy. Goodbye. Yay! I won! That was, yeah, cool. That was Okay, weird. okay, I understand, I understand. Cool, so this is... I, I thought this would be absolutely atrocious. I, I thought this would be the atrocious. Okay. But, um... No, it's, it's a fun little game. Um, it's only $3 US. Oh, okay. And you get to listen to the album as you play it. And the yeah, album's definitely worth more than $3. Um, cool little story. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. it fun fact. The gameplay has nothing to do with the story. It's just a game that they've skinned with Dream Theater. Yeah, nice, nice little thing. We are both massive Dream Theater fans, so we couldn't not play this. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry we had to do this without music, but, you know, YouTube and all that. Um, yeah. Final thoughts? 
I'm not entirely sure it's my sort of game. It's definitely yours. Uh, but it looks like fun. I like it. Yes. It was good fun. All right. Goodbye, guys. Bye.